Hey, I'm Robert Irvine. And I'm Nelson Aguilar, and welcome to Bites with Birds. And today, we're gonna show you a game day cheeseburger, but with a difference. So, cheeseburger generally means, you know, a patty with cheese on it. But Philly is known for cheesesteaks. We sure are. So I thought we, we'd do a little spin on, on the cheesesteak story. So we're gonna take ground beef, 80-20, 20% fat, 80% ground lean beef. Da, 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 da. So you can just take that off there, put the pan on, turn the pan on, get it nice and hot. You can season the, the um, burgers there, salt and pepper. I love salt and pepper. Oh, yes. So while you're doing that, I'm going to start this pan, get it nice and hot, because cheesesteaks, traditionally, um, what are you doing? Seasoning both sides. We're gonna fight. All right, look. Remember, three fingers. High. Why? High, why? Why? Look. Look what happened there. All in one place. All in one place. It's the even disbursement of the product because it free falls at its own rate. Mm -hmm. See, I hope you're gonna teach me about it's as science much football right now. The trajectory. All right. yeah. But look at it. Everywhere. It evenly seasons it, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put a little oil in here. Get it nice and hot. Remember, this is like the steak. We can always turn the heat down, but it's gotta be hot to start with. So while that's getting hot, we're gonna start with some onions. Mm -hmm. That sizzle. The sizzle. Gotta make sure some red peppers and mushrooms. Sliced mushrooms. Get them going nice and nice and nice. That can go, burger can go in now. Can you start to see it? Get a little smoke on the outside there. When we get the smoke. That's like music to my ears. You like that, that I nice. I don't sing, obviously, but. That nice little. I like that sound, right? So there's a key to this. You see how you did that nicely? Like, you're not dropping it, you're controlling it. Now, I don't want to move the pan again. But remember, if the pan is so big, don't try and get like 20 burgers in that, right? And I, I know you wouldn't, but a lot of people do. Yeah. What it does, it takes away the heat from the pan and does not allow it. Then it steams and gets gray instead of golden brown. In Philly, what is, and there is no right or wrong answer, but there really is, what is your favorite cheesesteak? Mm. All right. Mm. I've had two different variations of cheesesteaks. I've had cheesesteak egg rolls, which are pretty good. But then the, the best place I've had a cheesesteak from is Barclay Prime. Really? Yeah. See, I'm a Tony Luke's guy, man. I'm a, I'm a, I like the, I like his. You know Tony I like Luke. Barclay Prime. I, got, I like good things. Oh, excuse me. Well, listen, some of us on a budget. I'm teaching you a budget version of Barclay Prime. Well, look, you go out there, you catch you some footballs, you can eat at Barclay Prime. If you Prime. show me how to throw a football, I'll, I'll be able to catch one. We'll play Jeez. catch after this. You won't, you'll catch like this. All right. Which are right. eyes. <laughs> so, now look, here's the cool thing. I'm just gonna take the onions and peppers out because I got the flavor of the onions and peppers and mushrooms in the pan. I'm gonna take the same pan, get it nice and hot again. While that's happening, can you slice me a couple of uh, slices of tomato? Now watch, in goes my steak, and this is filet, right? I told you uh, we're gonna kick it up a little bit. So this is filet. A little salt, a little pepper. Now look, all I'm doing is, is getting it cooked, because when it's almost cooked, then I'm gonna put the onions, peppers, and mushrooms back into it. So you re add that flavor. I'm re-adding the flavor. So I've noticed, see, I haven't took much oil in there. I just took all the flavor from the pan. Now what kind of steak is that, though? That's filet. Ooh. But remember, filet doesn't have a lot of fat. We need to turn that over now. Ooh. But don't be afraid, it don't bite. It burns. It burns, but it won't bite. Oh, there we go. There you have it. That's okay. All right, so look, <laughs> here's, the, here's the key thing here. We're gonna turn the heat down now because we don't want it to burn. We started cooking on one side. We're gonna sear it on that side. And the quickest way to get this to cook is invert a pan on it like this. Turn it right down low. 
and let the steam cook it. All right, so you see my steak is ready. In go the peppers and onions. Take a little bit of butter. Now here's the cool thing about butter. It, it's good fat if you use it sparingly, okay? Now I just put butter in there, and that's just gonna round off the flavor. I'm gonna leave it there, melt on its own. Turn the heat off. I'm gonna take our knife. Kidding. So, take our plate. And take our buns. Now these are brioche buns. Brioche, a lot of butter. Yes. But it's all good, you know? Oh, you just can't... brioche buns are the best buns, honestly. We're gonna take the brioche, put it onto our plate. Now, let me just check on this, make sure we're doing good on this. Uh, I don't wanna give you a... a you gotta a, check on my burger, I, as I, if I'm gonna do it wrong. You know I did that right. I know you did it right, I'm just checking, because if you, if you go into it and it's raw, you're gonna blame me. But if it's perfect, you're gonna say it's my, it was me. Raw? I mean, don't people like their burgers medium rare? Or still alive? I like them medium rare. I don't like them still, Ooh. Yeah, mooing at you. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to give me the biggest bicep, like do this. Come on, dude, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so. Yeah. Good. When we cook at high temperature, remember it sears golden brown. Yeah. It pushes the liquid to the surface. When I turn the heat off, which I've just done now, just relax, relax your arm. What we're doing is allowing the juice to flow back into the, into the steak or into the burger. Mm -hmm. So when we eat into it, it's not gonna be dry and like sawdust. So that's really important that we rest. It takes about three or four minutes. It's not getting cold. It's gonna continue to cook, but it's, there's no heat on it that is resting, the most important thing we'll do on cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna put a tomato on the bun, piece of tomato on the bun each. Do -do -do -do. A little bit of our shredded lettuce. Our burgers, hopefully, are perfect. And if they're not, it's because you, you mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Put one burger on each bun. Mm -mm -mm. Good. Oh, look at that. Plating's perfect. Now, we've got a cheese sauce made with, um, it's almost like a fondue. It's, it's a couple of different cheeses. Cheddar cheese, a little cream cheese in there. Now, here's where the cheesesteak piece comes in. Watch. We're gonna take your tongs. Actually, we should probably take a spoon better. And just put a spoon on top of each of those. Make sure it's, yep, dump. Oh, you've done that before, dude. Maybe, that a couple times. Good. That, that was good, no? That's, that's not a rookie mistake. Do the same again, see if we can do it on the same again. That, that, that's the name of the game, consistency. Consistency. Let's see. Pay the man. All right, I'll give you <laughs> that. Now watch this, watch this. This is the cheesesteak piece, watch. Oh, look at that, Ooh. baby. Just to finish off, let's put a little onion on there. All right? Imagine you get that at a game. It's like a little cheese fondue. Like a cheesesteak burger. I mean, I don't know about you, but uh, there's a home run! <laughs>